There's bad news for Apple. Their flagship gadgets are not flying off the shelves like the iPhone or the iPad. We look at the numbers first, then the reasons. Apple has published its revenue report for the first quarter. That's April, May, and June. That's the first quarter. iPhone sales were down 2%, iPad sales almost 20%, and the MacBook down 7%. Only one hardware category did well, and that's wearables. Revenue from AirPods and watches was up 2%. Overall, Apple clocked around $81.8 billion in sales. That's around 1% less than last year. And don't think these numbers are an anomaly. They're not. This is Apple's third straight quarter of declining sales. So what is happening? Is Apple losing its charm or have people shifted to new brands? Well, a bit of both. This quarter is usually slow for Apple. They release their new devices in the month of September, so people wait. They delay their purchase until the new model comes out. But that alone does not explain the dip. Let's go back in history to the 2000s. Apple was synonymous with innovation. They made touch screens better. They gave us great cameras. Basically, they gave us a template for smartphones. Every device you see today is inspired from that first iPhone. So what changed? Well, it looks like Apple stopped innovating. Take the latest iPhone model, the 14. How is it different from the one before? Apple says it is something called the dynamic island, a little bubble on top that lets you multitask. But hundreds of dollars for that bubble? It barely counts as innovation. I bet most iPhone 14 users don't even use it. And don't get me wrong, new models have become faster and more slick. If you look at the specification chart, you'll understand. But does that help the average user? Maybe the website loads a nanosecond faster, or the pixels are more defined. These are things you can barely notice, things that don't make your life any easier. But compare this to the iPhone's older innovations, multi-touch interface. You can pinch and zoom thanks to that or the integrated music player, or the mobile YouTube app. These things change the way we use phones. So why aren't the new iPhones doing all of that? Have they reached the pinnacle of innovation? It's a dangerous assumption to make, because we are basically then saying that Apple has made the perfect phone, and there is no room for improvement. So here's a better way to put it. Apple cannot seem to find ways to innovate. And it's not like they're not trying. Apple's research and development budget increased 84% from 2018 to 2022, 84%. They spent around $100 billion on innovation, yet nothing iconic. Maybe they are looking at it the wrong way. If money was the answer, startups would never succeed. Only the big companies would make profits. You see, sometimes innovation does not take $100 billion. It can happen in your parents' garage. That's where most US tech giants were born. So lack of innovation is one problem. The second is evolving customer base. People are more mature now. You can't sell them multitasking bubbles for hundreds of dollars. They need more. And guess who's offering that? Android alternatives. You have phones that flip and fold, phones that have transparent backs. Yes, they're gimmicks, but at least it's not the same old iPhone design. Apple realizes this problem. They're solving it in two ways. One is by diversifying. Apple now owns a streaming service. They're broadcasting sporting events. They're also making movies. In fact, services is the new money maker. Apple subscriptions topped 1 billion users in the last quarter. We're talking about things like Apple TV and iCloud. Revenue from services reached $21 billion, which is an 8% rise. So iPhone sales are down 2%, but Apple services are up 8%. It tells a story, doesn't it? The second strategy is to target new markets. People in the West do not see Apple as some aspirational product, but elsewhere they do. Apple's revenue in China was up almost 8%. In India, they set a new record for iPhone sales. They haven't said how many, but it's a record, we're told. Why do you think Apple has started a store in Mumbai and in Delhi? Because the company needs new buyers. Around 500 million Indians are in the middle class, another 700 million in China. Apple wants these people to buy iPhones. And we are not the ones saying this. The, uh, the company's CEO, Tim Cook, has said this himself. Let me quote. What I do see in India is a lot of people entering the middle class, and I'm hopeful that we can convince some, some number of them to buy an iPhone, and we'll see how that works out. Nothing surprising there. Most companies have a fixed strategy to grow. Innovate, diversify, 
and, or expand. That's their strategy, but Apple seems unable to do the first. So they're doing the second and the third. We've seen companies perish due to lack of innovation, like Nokia or Motorola. Apple is certainly being more smart, smart about it, but will the strategy work? It could be years or decades before we have the answer.